morning. This is tutorial 1A for the Korg IMS-1 software analog synth app on the iPad. Uh, it's really quick and basic, aimed at the person who has to produce something fast to be sure that they're uh, meeting a deadline or that they've got the tune done in time for the gig or whatever happens to be the pressing issue. Uh, here's what all I'll cover in this tutorial. One, open, open up a template that you like. Two, find where the sequence note patterns are and find one you like. Then I'll show you how to alter the specific notes a little bit, alter the looping a little, alter the tempo a little, alter the mix a little bit. And then you've got something that's more or less your own. You can save the new version. So this is the cheater's way in to pooping out fast product for, for a project or a client. Um, if you're a noble artist, you can continue on to future tutorials, or you can uh, feel free to dwell thoughtfully on or further explore uh, any of the steps that I show here. I do love my analog synths and my brutally customized Miko workstation, but I can't take them out on the porch to compose music with. Step one, open a template that you like. Um, this is brilliant interface. Click on Browse up here in the upper left corner. So here's a bit of brilliant interface. Uh, you just tap on the session browser on any one of these templates and it'll start playing so that you get an idea what you're getting into. Takes a sec. That's the minimal template. Dubstep template. A uh, 16-bit game template. <laughs> so if we want to go with that one, we just click OK down here. And that's the feel we're going to start with, and we're, we're going to generate our own song real quick. First thing we do is we go to the sequence uh, page, which is right up here. So what you just saw was the synthesizer, but we want to take a look at uh, where the notes are coming from. So we click on that song pattern, and up comes a different page. Now here's where you browse through the different patterns that came in that session, uh, the template, the session template. Just press play up here, little arrow. Pattern one. Pattern two. Pick one that you like. Now, the way that I got these things to come up was just by clicking on any one of these white buttons. Well, this, this is the song, right? And uh, you assign a pattern to each one of these white buttons. So if you want pattern one to happen twice, you hit button one, then pattern one, button two, pattern one. Then the, maybe the third thing you want to happen is is a pattern, I don't know, what sounds good, 12? Let's see if it sounds good. Press play. Sure, pattern 12. And uh, so you, you, you pick your, your white button is where in the song you want a pattern to play and then you pick your pattern here. And see how smart it is? It plays it for you. To change the specific notes that are playing, pop back into that uh, synth page and do a two-finger drag on the logo. And that brings up this row of knobs. You can see when you're playing, that's called a step sequencer. And uh, each knob represents one of the beats in your song. That step sequencer can affect a lot of different things. Right here, we're just talking about it affecting the notes because note is pressed. So let's just stick with that. And we'll change some notes up. Play. When you find a pattern that you want to edit, just bring it up and, and uh, 
use a couple of fingers to drag that down you see the sequencer just start messing with the knobs now you've just created your own sequence it's really not that hard uh, the button marked pitch here give you a chance to make these real pitches or you know chromatic pitches or smooth pitches so in chromatic it's going to be always real notes and uh, see play change the octave here on the second row down let's solo this voice and see what it sounds like actually let's go to the mixer by clicking on mixer and let's only listen to the synth solo just hit the solo button by synth now here you've got six drums and one synth synth one drum one drum two drum three drum four drum five drum six what's the difference between a synth and a drum pretty much nothing we'll get into that later now we're soloed the synth we'll go back and to synth and mess with it a little bit more now we can hear what we're doing now I'm set to smooth so now it's not in tune they're not actually pitches now back to chromatic that's like running it through a little auto tune I suppose you'd say so what you have here is a little hole called reset trigger in and as these lights what they do is they send your sequence back to the start when it reaches boom that the hole that you've connected to reset trigger in so you can imagine a little pulse of energy coming out of each one of those holes every time it lights up and when that pulse of energy gets back to sync trigger in or to reset trigger in then the whole sequence resets. Watch it again. I'm going to make it short now. And you can set the drums to different lengths from the, each other, which is really going to be cool. We'll do that in a later uh, video. Changing the tempo is, is real handy to do if you want to change the character of the piece, and, and that's, of course, very easy. You just find the, uh, you go to the song and pattern. In the song and pattern menu, you just find the little uh, tempo thing right there and mess with it. change the mix you get into the mixer down here taking it out of solo mode you how to get into the drums in the next video and to save your new version you just go to save session save there it is type in a nice name uh, I'm just gonna call this uh, s y z c v uh, version a a a and uh, it is now by me save or add didn't overwrite the last one and you're done and so you've got a piece that goes like this so what I've just taught you how to do is uh, is you can open a template that you like you can find where the sequences are and uh, alter the sweet sequence patterns that came with it you can alter the specific notes of that pattern you can alter the uh, the tempo of that pattern and you can alter the mix of that pattern you can do that to all the different patterns that are in there, and you can save the new version. In the next one, 
I'll go a little bit into changing the sounds of the synth, which is really the heart of analog synthesis, and, uh, and I'll show you what's going on in those six drum tracks. So, this is the Fat Man for Pro Audio uh, Coalition, and I'm just saying the IMS-20 software for the iPad by Korg is way too much quality for the money. <laughs> See you at the next one with more tips and tricks, shortcuts and big pictures. And big pictures and... <laughs>